money, but how much money I can put into the bank that I'm not going to touch for this X amount of time, and this is the amount that I could have as an interest, okay? So they say for a 4%, I don't know about you, or with your savings account, do you still get 4%? No. Like I wish, right? I think 0.09% <laughs> or 1% right now. Even CD doesn't have like a 2% right now, right? So let's, let's be giving for 4%. They said, okay, you need $450,000 in order for you to get a $1,500 every month, okay? $1,500 every month is an executive coordinator level. Like what? Like Myla. They're making this money, like bids. See, they're not even in the business for three years. They're not in the business and they're already generating this income. So their asset right now in the bank has $450,000. See? You build it two to three years, you get this income. How about myself? I build it like less of uh, less than two years. I'm making this income. I have a 1.6 million. Wow. I don't think with my entire professional career I'm going to save 1.6 million. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, and I don't have like that time to build it in the bank yes. and generate this income and and so on and so forth. So this is a comparison. Now another another actually way you could actually generate an income, okay? Like let's say to just to build up a five hundred thousand for four of you, or to get a fifteen hundred every month. Okay, don't you think fifteen hundred would make a difference in your financial? Life? Yes. yes. Maybe pay off your mortgage, your car bills, whatever bills, right? On the side, right? It does, right? So let's check a different way. How about real estate? Who would agree that real estate could make money? Right? It does, right? But the thing is, you know, if you haven't paid off your mortgage, then it's not going to generate any income. And if you leave there, right? You need something to rent out, right? Let's say you have 500,000, let's say for a house and apartment to rent out, then yes, you could generate that monthly, but you need that upfront money, right? Not, not really for average individual like us, right? Now, how about we use other people's money? We take a loan from the bank, right? How much money actually we're gonna ask for there? Like, let's say we're buying a house, but still you need to put up money for down payment, right? Let's say 20,000 per house, but we need like at least five, five houses to rent out, considering there's no maintenance, nothing broke on the plumbing, nothing broke in the door, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So solid, you could actually generate 300 a month, more or less. So times five, that is 1,500. Isn't it like a lot of money, a mm -hmm. lot of effort and stress to invest, right? Yes. Some people can actually do this. Some people does it, okay? But not really applicable for average individual like us, okay? Now, how about financial market? your IRA, your 401k, right? Let's say you put in, you have a principal of 250,000, and again, another giving percentage, 10% annual return, meaning to say you have to keep it there for 10 years, for 10 years, so that down the road when you retire, you get that 500,000, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, I don't have 250, how about 150,000 for 10% return? It takes about 20 years. Actually, it's funny because there's like one of the nurses in Westchester who just recently retired. And she worked for 45 years, for 45 years in a hospital. And she was expecting that she will have like a big pension coming mm -hmm. in. You know what, when she summed up all the pension, whatever she contributed for that past years that she's been working, it's less than 70,000. Wow. And she's already 65 at wow. the time. And she said, Sad. because she said the market crashed three times mm -hmm. during the time she invested. Mm -hmm. And still, you have no control with this yes. because it's up and down, right? And how many, you know, can you predict that? We cannot really predict it, right? It's, I mean, it's a risk. Now, and according to studies and research recently, if you have read the news, how much money can you retire comfortably in the U.S.? They said you need to have at least one point or more. Mm -hmm. Or more because imagine as we get older we pay the bills for medical and all of this you would think i'm telling you i have so many patients they will tell me i finally retired but i'm here with you <laughs> right but instead of enjoying their life they were like just like they're exercising and having a lot of pain this and that yeah right so basically that's what it is so now creating your own shopping annuity how do we do that so based on the statistics